Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambeau channel. My friends, the signs, they're out there. And life-changing money is almost here for many of us in the world of crypto who have been sufficiently patient and invested the right amount. And of course, it's subjective what's life-changing anybody. Uh, different amounts mean different things to different people, and I get that. But I want to share with you opinions from a few chart analysts in this video who uh, seem very confident that... Like, the most ridiculous parabolic crypto price action in history, beyond your wildest imagination, uh, that's, what, that's what we're on the cusp of right here. And also for fun, uh, I want to talk about uh, the idea of, like, what if you had invested uh, your, your tw if you were in America anyway, and you got your $1,200 stimulus check, what if you invested that in various cryptocurrencies, what might that look like? Uh, what would that have yielded, including if you had invested it in XRP? And I, I got to tell you, it, even though it's clearly the case, like most cryptocurrencies have not gone parabolic to this point, <laughs> there are already some wacky numbers if you happen to have put it in just the right crypto. So uh, plenty to talk about here. But before I go further, I do want to be clear that I do not have a financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice, and you should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast who makes YouTube videos about crypto-related topics, but purely as a hobby, just for fun here. Now, um, as I record this, the market's not looking too terribly shabby right now. Uh, XRP's at $1.16. Bitcoin is at $49,521, so uh, knocking on 50,000's door again. I got market cap for the asset class over $2.1 trillion and Bitcoin dominance at 42.99%. And the crypto fear and greed index, despite the fact that prices are way higher than just weeks ago when uh, Bitcoin is at like, what, $29,000 and XRP was, at, how low did it get? About 52 cents, something like that. Despite the fact that prices are way, way, way higher... <sighs> <laughs> the crypto fear and greed index and admittedly like the market's in greed fine but down from yesterday yesterday was at 78 out of 100 and uh, now it's down to 72 out of 100 indicating yes we're in greed but yesterday we were in extreme greed and it's just so funny how just whatever is happening in the moment that just it makes you feel something and then that's what's going on and it's just not it's not the most productive way to look at things but it's so interesting and so worth being aware of because we're all human and uh, we're all susceptible to the feels, except for me, because I'm an XRP bot. I'm robotic. There are no emotions. Beep, boop, 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 beep. Take a look at this tweet from chart analyst Michael Vandepop, uh, who shared the following with his 381,000 followers. And I like what he had to say here. He wrote, I think we're ready for the next part of the bull cycle, which means that altcoins will be reaching levels beyond your imagination. This also means make a plan. Avoid FOMO. As in such a bull cycle, there will be a big amount of people losing money. Oh, yes, there will. The people that FOMO in, meaning, okay, something's gone up. It looks like this is, maybe this is going to keep going up in price forever. I'm going to pile in with all the other lemmings right here and hope that it doesn't crash down. Of course, by the time you recognize that, there's a good chance that perhaps most of the uh, movement to the upside has already occurred. And so the people, they buy in towards the top. And even if it goes up a little bit after they purchase, inevitably, at some point, it's going to go back down. People get wrecked that way. And, of course, people also get wrecked when they panic sell uh, on the on the flip side before things go up. Right? Just something goes down a little bit. I mean, think about it. Think about all the people that sold their XRP recently when it got down to 52 cents. Well, how are they feeling right now? Probably most of them not too hot about that. That would be my guess right here. But Michael Vandepop is, is correct. I believe that uh, every single cryptocurrency in existence is going to go parabolic if it's a mid-cap or a large-cap coin. And uh, it could be the case that all, if or close to all, even small-cap coins will. Um, I haven't researched like exactly how all the small-caps uh, behaved last market cycle, just other than spot checking. Spot checking, yeah, it looks like they uh, moved in general just like the mid and large cap coins, which is to say the chart patterns looked exactly the damn same. It's just that there are so many thousands of them, I didn't actually check one by one all the small cap coins to see if they all did exactly the same thing. So maybe there are some outliers I'm just not aware of, and still that'd be fine. But in a general sense, regardless, it doesn't really matter. Like The market is moving in tandem, and uh, as far as XRP is concerned, it's part of the market, it's going to do it too. Um, so even if it moves towards the end of the market cycle, fine, because at least I'll have a better idea of where I think it makes sense for me personally to sell. Because if uh, Bitcoin goes higher, for example, than many are expecting, it's, it's possible, it's plausible. If that happens, then I'm probably going to hold on to some of my XRP, maybe a little bit longer than I otherwise would. But at some point, 
Uh, I'm certainly anticipating that I will be sufficiently enticed to unload if uh, if not all of it, then just about. But we'll see. We'll see how high this this market goes. A uh, 360 trader seems to uh, be sharing effectively the same opinion here. Uh, we just about uh, what what 40 minutes ago or so, a little less than that. I uh, tweeted out three words: shorts get wrecked. <laughs> you gotta, hey, you know what? Uh, brevity is the soul of wit. You know who said that? That was Bill Shakespeare. He learned something new today. Uh, and then there was this from the blockchain backer, and he was just highlighting. Uh, earlier today that look uh, and these are a couple coins that we've been talking about here like solana and luna you may be aware especially if you're watching his, his channel as well like uh, solana and luna these cryptocurrencies have been climbing and climbing and climbing and climbing so they're there they happen to be going uh d d just ridiculously up towards the beginning part of uh you know the, the this market or at least closer to the front end of it um or in terms of like <laughs> when are most coins gonna go uh, I mean, look, XRP specifically, again, I would anticipate towards the tail end of the market cycle. It's just exciting to see that even now there are a handful of coins that are going up wildly. And and that's why I, I always warn, too. It's like, do whatever you want. If you want to buy or sell or hold, I don't care. Do whatever the hell you want. I'm not advising on that front. I, I'm just saying you got to be aware how this market behaves because if you're in this and you're not used to seeing other coins go up when yours isn't, you might get the emotions. They, they, they might start hitting you, and then you might start feeling like you need to do something and need to sell something to hold so you can afford to buy something that's already moving. But the reality is there's, what, I think over 10,000 cryptocurrencies now, actually? And you can't, like, most people are, are not going to be able to hold anywhere near 10,000 cryptocurrencies. And if everything's going to go off, most of the time when you're seeing, uh, you know, people on social media and the news talking about coins going off, the vast majority of the time it won't be whatever the hell you're holding. It doesn't mean go chase it, though. Like that, So I won't anyway. You do whatever you want. But the blockchain backer wrote, Of the large cap leader group I've been following the last couple of weeks, Solana has taken a step higher. Uh, Luna has now taken a step higher. And here, so this, is, this is just several hours after the last one you wrote. Luna has now taken a step higher, setting a new all-time high. And again, the fact that this is happening doesn't mean that Moon Lambo suddenly wants to go run into this. By, by, by the time you see news like this, like for, or I do specifically for me, uh, I'm like, yeah, I have no interest in trying to catch that train. I missed it. I am not going to do it. I'm not going to risk it. And even if I'm fortunate, you don't know for sure. Like, is it going to go up way, way, way higher? Okay, maybe you get lucky and yet you do catch it earlier on. But to me, that's that doesn't seem like a good idea. I'm just not going to do the FOMO game. Hell no. Uh, and I take a look at this. Here's a headline from Cointelegraph. 11% of young Americans have invested their stimulus checks into crypto. Uh, this information was found by a survey. And um, I don't want to really want to read through this article, but I wanted to highlight that because it is fascinating, fascinating because there are all sorts of people theorizing, okay, where, where's, the, where's the stimulus money actually going? Is it going to the stock market? Is it going into crypto? Well, as it turns out, a certain percentage actually did go into crypto. And so if last year you got your stimulus check and you put it into various cryptocurrencies, what might it be worth? Well, there's this fun article from newsbtc.com that highlighted just that. And it's titled, Here's How Much Your $1,200 Stimulus Check Would Be Worth in Various Cryptocurrencies in 2021. And I'll tell you roughly what it would be in, uh, if you put it all in, in XRP. And spoiler alert, uh, a lot more than it was back then, uh, despite the fact that XRP um, hasn't even revisited its, its all-time high. What, that it hit last market cycle of close to 4 bucks. And this is without it going into price discovery, and it's it's still a lot. Um, and so here you go. Uh, to start out, we will look at Bitcoin. If $1,200 was invested into Bitcoin back in April 2020, in current August prices, 2021 of course, that investment would be worth about $9,000. The price of Bitcoin has risen over 600% since then. And then next would be Ethereum. Put in a $1,200 stimulus check in Ethereum back in 2020, at this point, the investor would have over $22,500. So let me pause there. Uh, and that is awesome, mind you. And I hold Ethereum. I am not against Ethereum. I don't know for sure if it's going to be long-term viable. There are scaling issues. But hey, uh, I, I, I still hold it. I'm curious to see where this all might go long-term. But even just in the short term here, uh, Ethereum specifically, it already hit its damn all-time high. You know, last market cycle, it got up to what? Somewhere in the neighborhood of like 14 to 1500 bucks, somewhere there about. Well, it already hit something like 43 or 4400 bucks earlier this year. And, and yeah, it's down from there, but uh, still a lot higher. What is it, over 3000 probably today? Yeah, it's $3,269 as I record this year. Um, and so it happens to have run up before XRP. 
but see, it doesn't matter. Like, Ethereum and XRP had about the same peak market cap last market cycle, and I'll not be surprised if we see something uh, roughly similar this market cycle, and we'll just all have to hang out and see how that unfolds, but it wouldn't surprise me, at least. Uh, and then the piece continues. Other altcoins besides Ethereum have also done very well in the past year. These include Doge, Cardano, Solana, and Hex. Uh, $1,200 put in Doge would be worth over $200,000 right now. <laughs> it's just what I look at. I was saying a few minutes ago, this is why <laughs> you don't go chasing something. like The, the, the gains have already occurred, my friends. Uh, but it's, it's never going to be the case that you could own most cryptocurrencies that exist. That's not remotely reasonable. Uh, and, and so given that most of the news that you see will be coins you don't own going up, just like be prepared for that and recognize that it doesn't freaking matter. So fine. You could have put 1200 bucks in a year ago, and then today it would be worth $200,000. So what? This is life. Like, you don't know the way that this is all going to pan out. And just because XRP hasn't hit its uh, previous all-time high, close to $4, it doesn't mean that it never will. Like, none of this means anything. Uh, but you just need to have a, a longer-term time frame. That, that's my opinion, anyway. Uh, a $1,200 investment in Cardano would be worth over $90,000. Uh, Solana would presently be worth over $120,000. And last but not least, a $1,200 investment in HEX would be worth over $300,000 in 2021. And I ain't gonna lie, I don't know what the hell HEX is, but to anybody out there listening that uh, it went through that roller coaster ride, uh, kudos to you. Good for you. Good on you. Uh, that is fantastic. So, what about XRP? Okay, you put $1,200 in, just, uh, just, you know, at the, the typical price that you saw in April. And, and by the way, April last year, uh, XRP is mostly under. 20 cents i believe so like say it's maybe it's like 18 19 cents whatever well you put in 1200 bucks there today it would be worth over seven thousand dollars which admittedly yeah it's a it's a massive increase but in the in terms of crypto uh it's it's just kind of like regular right? but xrp hasn't gone yet and that's why i'm saying it's 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 the XRP opportunity is still available. That's what I'm saying. That's the message that I'm, that's what I firmly believe to be the case. And so eventually this thing's going to freaking go. And then you'll see it will get to the point, I believe, by the time this market cycle is complete to where you could go back and say, okay, had you invested that $1,200 in XRP, it would be more worth like fifty dollars or 100000 or 150000 or 200000 who, who knows? It depends on how high XRP goes this market cycle. But I think you'll be able to say stuff like that in the future. It, it's just we don't know for sure when it's going to pop. But, uh, you know, we're most of the way through this bull cycle. So we're not going to have to wait that much longer to figure this all out. Like, like I keep saying over and over again, like there's a reason you can probably tell that I'm excited when I make these videos where I'm talking about price. It's because we're almost there. And I've been waiting for years and years and years. I started investing in uh, crypto and XRP specifically in November of 2017. I've never sold a single XRP. And I've understood all this stuff that I'm sharing all of these years. That of course there's other coins going off and you could play the childish shoulda, woulda, coulda game if you magically knew the timing of everything within markets. But that's not realistic. All right, that's not how this works. We're not time travelers. We, 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 if I went into this understanding there would be other coins popping off this and that, and I made my bet. I wanted a coin to, you know, with utility to be my largest holding, and, and I got that. It's with it's XRP because I, I don't know, I still don't know when utility is going to sufficiently matter and how that might impact the market. Now I don't suppose there's going to be a dramatic shift until after this bubble fully inflates and then pops, but. I didn't know if that was going to happen during this bear market. And so when I made my choice, that, that actually was one of my main main factors. I was like, XRP, technologically superior. It's been around forever. One of the most liquid cryptocurrencies on the planet and functionally getting used. And so I was looking at all those things. Those are some of the most important things that I personally considered. And I still do believe that utility matters and will ultimately win the day, even if it doesn't matter sufficiently to market speculators now. But cryptocurrencies that don't do anything, that don't solve real world problems, they're not going to be here perpetually. At some point, they will go the way of the dodo, my favorite extinct avian creature. And so the best days yet are still ahead. I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say are right. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambo.